Hey there. If you're using Generate Press as your theme and you want to achieve a sticky navigation header so that it stays at the top of the window as a user scrolls, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so as you can see in this demo site, um, as I scroll down, the navigation does not follow with, it doesn't stick to the top, uh, which is what we want to achieve in this. So the first step is to jump into the customizer. Once you're in customizer, go to layout and sticky navigation. As you see, by default, this is set to off and we want to go ahead and turn it on. Now, of course, you have the option to do desktop only or mobile only if you wish. Um, for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on for all devices. So uh, first is a transition. We can either fade or slide in or no transition. Um, so when you scroll, you can already see that the navigation is sticking. Um, but there's a few problems, of course. The logo is missing and it's transparent, so it's hard to read when it's sitting on top of text. Um, so the option here, of course, is to add the logo. We we'll go ahead and add a logo that you wish to include in your sticky header. And as we scroll, we now see that head, uh, the logo now visible. Uh, the cool thing with that is you can actually upload a secondary logo that you might want to use that just for scroll. Um, maybe it's a more condensed logo design um, compared to your full logo. Um, so feel free to get creative with that. Um, now the next one is the menu item height. So of course we're scrolled down here. This is the sticky navigation. Um, you can adjust this and for the most part it's just adjusting the size of your logo, the max height. Um, so I want this to be a little bit smaller as a as a sticky navigation. I don't want it to take up a lot of space. Um, so let's go to uh, 45 pixels when I'm going to set it at, and we can go ahead and publish. Um, but now we really need to address the issue um, with the transparent background. Um, by default in Generate Press, it's going to inherit the global colors from your um, default primary navigation. So the navigation background um, colors are pulled in on both, um, which as you can see, uh, the normal navigation header um, is transparent as seen by these color choices. Um, but when we scroll, we don't want that transparent because then you can't read it. So we got to write some CSS for that. Um, so if you go back, go into additional CSS and there's a CSS selector that's period main navigation period navigation clone and this is gonna uh, allow us to set a background color just for that sticky navigation so we're gonna say background color um, we can set it as let's say 80808 uh, like a gray color um, so there you can see it. Uh, obviously the changes are taking effect live um, and we scroll to the top and it disappears, goes back to transparent and as it scroll it appears again um, exactly as we wanted. So uh, we can go ahead and take a look at that again in mobile as we scroll. Perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. It goes to gray. Same with tablet. Looks good. Make sure to hit publish and check it out on the front end of your website as well, outside of the customizer. Um, and again, it looks great and functioning just as we wanted. So there was a walkthrough of how to set up your sticky header using the Generate Press theme. I do wish that there was an option to add the background color just for sticky uh, navigations within the customizer. However, uh, adding the CSS isn't too big of a deal. So in the meantime, it works.